you can see my shorts. Hello, everybody. I hope the sound is good. Oh, turn the volume down on the iPad. Sorry. Oh, there we are. Okay. How are we all? Hello Janice, how are you? Sound is perfect, okay. I've got to be careful because apparently it's a lot louder. We did a little bit of a test last night. Well, kind of. Oh, oh, not the light, not the light. I'm just hoping. How's that? There's four cameras on this, so let's hope it doesn't be too precious. Right yeah. So I've got a wonderful word. We'll leave that for tomorrow night. Play button. Bling and ribbon. Oh sequins. Crumbs as Astrid calls them. Hello Astrid if you're still at home. I don't know if she's still at home. A bit louder but very clear. Oh that's good. Hello D. Hello Beryl. It would want to be good. I'm sorry but it would want to be good. Okay. So this week we've got the islands. And what have we got? Oh geez, We've got three pieces of the embossed linen that I love. And then we've got um, two pieces of number five from the islands and we're meant to fussy cut one of these and obviously I haven't and then we've got a piece of number two and then we've got a half piece of number four mm. and then we've got um, the new creative builder so this is online now I've just done it This has been on the drawing board and I've had sketches of this since or this type of thing and it was always going to be a beachy one first um, since 2018. Now the name we were going to call it, someone else has called their product that name since. So it's Creative Builder because someone else has used that name and even the other names on the potential list have gone as well. So it is what it is. But... It, this was coming before pattern paper in the whole scheme of products we wanted to make ourselves. So, yeah. Now, the lights aren't flickering, are they? It's just me because on my face is too close to a light. Um, yeah you have to let me know how it goes it is digital printed it's not offset printed like our pattern paper honestly it would cost far far too much and we'd have millions of them um if we got them offset printed like our pattern paper um no one's gonna pay what that would be worth um so yeah let me know how what you feel about it and whether you like it and whether you I'm a little undecided on this rounded top tag here whether it should just be a rectangle but I thought rounded you've got circles some people like rounded things some people like straight edges I like circles but I don't like rounded top tags myself personally but this is not about me this is about you Love the new creative builder, says D. Well, there you go. That's a start. So, I haven't cut it up. So, I need to probably get my butt into gear. And while I'm yapping, I should have been cutting it. So, it is easy to cut. Well, it should be. Um, I've got others. Um, I've got, like, designs planned out. And I've got some half made, but I just didn't want to come out with a whole whoop ton of stuff 
and you guys go, oh, we hate that, or that's horrible, or I don't like the print, or I don't like this, or I know it's not perfect. Digital printing is not as gorgeous as offset printing. Um, and, you know, it is what it is. But offset printing is really, really expensive. I'm going to say that. Especially when you use dear, like, really expensive paper like we do. Because our paper is really, um, it's the bomb. Right. Ooh, it seems to be cutting okay. Um, the only limitation to the cutting is probably me. My ability to cut straight. Yeah. That is exactly how it goes. I tried to have enough contrast with the background that it was easy for you to see the edges to cut. And it's a little bit darker than the picture in the online store. And that's the limitations of digital printing. Um, there are limits. And I just have to live with that. Oh, yeah. Da, da, da. They will definitely be in my future orders. There you go, Dee says. And if you don't want to, um, yeah, fussy cut things, mm, I don't know. They shouldn't be too hard to cut out. Let's cut a few bits and then make something. So the the idea or the concept was originally, the original concept was you could take one of these and you could add like um, some cardstock as a base for either a card, a tag, or a card or a page. Um, or a tag. Well, you wouldn't need cardstock as a tag base because you've got a tag base there. Um, but you could take some cardstock as your base for a card or a page and you could add, you know, like some sequins or bling or, you know, photos, maybe some flowers, something like that. Like not add much and you would have, you know, you'd have a project made. Like it would be just add just out of base and and you're done kind of thing um that was the original concept and that you could get more than one project from from the sheet or you could get a double page and a card i mm, don't know about a double page and a card from one sheet but you possibly could depending on if you added like pattern paper and other cardstock from your stash My little friend is... Oh, I don't want... I don't know what that thing was. I had the old phone still on. and So you know how they say about that new phone feeling. So there's a new phone and it... Yeah. My phone bills are going to be ridiculous. But the videos are important and it's important that you guys have a better quality experience watching a class than what the other one... I mean, what the other one was doing and you know what that other video that other phone when we record a video like just record a video there's nothing wrong with it there's nothing wrong with the speaker it's just i actually think it's just the phone companies trying to make me get a new phone um they just won't let me live stream with any software to anywhere um yeah I think there's just a timer in the phone where it goes, radio, this person's done a lot of things. Let's make them get a new phone. I think I'm going to have to distress this circle because it's really, yeah, it's not turning out very circular. Um, oh, Anna popped in yesterday and dropped me off some containers. Thank you so much, Anna. I truly appreciate that. And we'll have to give you something for those. I know you said not to. Um... And she was saying that she saw Love Boat was on TV. I didn't know that. 
we got home yesterday because I've been reorganising my room and uh, my studio space, and and it's pretty chaotic at the moment. My desk is okay, uh, but the rest of the room is pretty much uh, Noah's desk. He needs to tidy up, but he's pretty organised. Amelia Ann's desk is really organised now, ready for homework and just for doing something and then packing it up. She's got a set of rules to live by now. And Quentin's desk is the usual chaos it is. Mine's great and behind my desk is pretty good, although I moved the bookcase and it, um, it didn't go back how it was. Even though there was a photograph taken, I've really got to get in because it's most of the books are backwards. Yeah, that wasn't me. Um, we needed to fit a piece of antique furniture in here that was stored in our spare bedroom. Amelia is downsizing. We're hoping that helps with the disaster. I spent Sunday um, tidying up all the well, tidying up the toys. I thought I was going to pick up fifty million Barbie shoes, but no, it was Lego was the problem. We found the culprit, and it was Lego. There we go. So let's get a piece of cardstock. If you were to do a page, you could, you know, you could do a page. Do we have a photo around here? Grab a photo. It's not the right photo. But you could, you know. There you go. I think the lights are going now. One of these is a new light. I had to get a new light last retreat. There we go. See? You could do a page. We haven't even used all the bits and bobsies. Now I've got to get rid of those sequins again. Those sequins. Quentin in his ultimate wisdom, decided to be cooking a loaf of bread while I'm teaching class. He's at work. Uh, oh, I better go back. I've lost, I've lost some of the uh, being future orders. Hello, Quentin. How are you? Um, hello, Cheryl. Thank you. Hello, Jason. Hope you're feeling better, doll. Um, hello, Trish and Robin. We did an investigation on your parcel yesterday, Trish, and apparently it moved overnight. Home today, I need a break week. There you go, Deborah. I wish I had one of those. Leave my desk alone. Uh -huh. um, creatively embellished. There you go, Deborah says. Uh, mine is piles of good stuff. <laughs> Missed the start, but these look good. Okay, thank you, Deborah. Your bread is smelling wonderful and it's cruel. You're a cruel, cruel man, Quentin Redshaw. So let's make tag. How easy is this going to be? Or how hard? How hard will making a tag out of this be? I think I need to round that off. Oh, sorry. Oh, my head off. Okay. Oh. 
so yes, did get to see um, some classic um, Love Boat yesterday afternoon on the TV. It's actually on the TV. <coughs> My happy place. And that is as crooked as crooked can be. Look at that. Maybe getting a trimmer out at the start would have been a good idea. Maybe I need to distress that. I better put that back in its new home, hey? Let's put a turtle. So in Gladstone, we have Curtis the Turtle. I don't know if Curtis the Turtle's still around. It's definitely not the same person that was in the Curtis the Turtle suit when we were kids, hey, Quentin? I think a different organisation actually has Curtis now. Yes, Amelia. Oh, um, and I'm very sorry for the very start of the video. Sesame Street was a little bit loud. I can still hear Elmo laughing in the background. Oh, I don't have, whoopsie, this is streaming on YouTube, I've got to say hello to everyone on YouTube. Oh. There we go, I'll just type hello. Uh, great looking shells on the sheet, oh thank you. All confused with daylight savings changing, yep Marlene, yep. Yep. It's going to take me a while to get used to you all being on the same time zone as me. And then what's going to happen is the moment we're all used to it, uh, it'll change again. And just so you know, Queensland won't change because we're not, we don't want our curtains to fade. Is that one of the reasons, one of the reasons behind it? That would make our curtains fade. I personally don't mind daylight savings because you do get a bit more in your day, but I'm not an early riser either. But I don't think it worries Quentin if he gets up in the dark or not. Quentin gets up early in the morning. I don't know what he does because he usually doesn't. Sometimes he achieves a lot, sometimes he achieves nothing at all. Oh, I cut the end of his shell off. I love these shells. I love carry shells. Hence why there's heaps. I haven't got the fan on because we think that the fan's going to make a lot, lot of um, sound. Let's cut one of these out. There's a lot on this sheet. And of course, I spent hours just cramming stuff on the sheet. Hmm. I do try and get the most out of a piece of paper. And I I did see there was a comment and beautiful family. So it's beautiful family virtual retreat this weekend. Um, I did see a comment that the fussy cutting was a little bit harder this time. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean for that to happen. I've still got that ball that she threw at me. Okay. So let's distress this tag. Um, it distresses really well, so don't be over boisterous. It will distress really well. I have done distress tests on it already. Um, so 
oh, somewhere in this room, I think Amelia's got all the prototypes. Um, different print types, different um, layouts. Um, if you want to use ink, okay. So we really should talk about the tolerances of this product. Let's tear this at like five inches. Um, if you want to ink this product, you can't use you you you'd have to heat set a pigment ink. It's just not worth your time. Uh, if you don't want to distress, just if you don't want to tear that bit, just distress it. Um, add like a dye ink. So you've got your little um, that one's seen better days, like a little archival ink or these dye inks. Um, yeah, I've got it on me. Um, so there's a split in that. Um, because it's digital printed, it's not going to be, it's absorbent, but it's not that absorbent. Okay. Um, you could put like, if you wanted to flick onto it, you could put a thin layer of your matte gel medium over the top. Um, it would have, it would help have something for it to stick to. Um, you could use paste on it. Treat fussy cane before everyone else gets up. That's why I get up early. Ha <laughs> ha. There you go. Um, I know Cheryl. I know the farmers didn't like the um, daylight saving. I don't understand why, but uh, farmer's daughter, not a farmer's, not a farmer. Um, but you do get more more daylight at the end of the day. Yes, you do. Yeah. He does a lot of Facebook work doing promos. I don't know who we're talking about there. I've lost track of what I was talking about. Deborah, I'm sorry. Um, it's nice to have time to yourself. Yeah. Morning, Mary. Yes, the little, just got a message, parcel at the post office, yes. So those parcels that were sitting at Sunshine West in a cage that hadn't been opened, the cage has now been opened because Quentin put on a bit of a yark yesterday. So, so all the parcels that went through from Queensland to Victoria, most of them went in one cage, but the overflow went in another cage. And that other cage didn't get opened until Quentin complained yesterday. And he could prove that we had parcels that went through in a cage and parcels that went in another cage and didn't go through. <laughs> so those parcels all moved overnight out of that cage and they got expedited. So I'm going to cut this little guy at like three and a quarter. But I'm not going to throw this out because, because we've got, you know, when we went back to here, let's go back to here. This would look so cool. Easter egg, this is a carry shell, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? Like that. How I got glue on my hands already, I don't know. So don't know, chuck that bit out. So all the stuff 
not crap, all the stuff that was on my desk is over there. And yeah, it still needs to be sorted. It's on the top of the little thing. I like this circle, but it definitely needed to be distressed. This is why we're distressing, because I did a dodgy job on this circle. Um, Quentin, yes, Quentin, when he gets up early. Yes, he sometimes he does social media. Um, yes, sometimes. Um, yes. Um, but you know what, Marlene? Yours and Mary's went through Sunshine West the quickest. Yours and Mary's actually went through Sunshine West the quickest mm. of everybody's. And I don't, maybe it's because I'm going to Tasmania. It seemed, yeah. Hope all are well a bit late here. That's okay, Marge. Oh, yeah, that's good. Oh, geez, I just knocked the light. We were going to let you know. We thought you knew that your um, parcel was, we're well, hoping you knew your parcel was at at the delivery centre. We've got Turtle, but he's not Curtis the Turtle, and let's distress my happy place. Um, I make the bed. D, even if Quentin was last up, he wouldn't make the bed. And all it is is just pulling the bed up. It's nothing fabulous in our house. It's not a not a marvelous something. Um, it's just very simple. Hello, Jean. How are you? The picture online, these look a bit more teal, but mm -hmm. they're a bit darker. That's just how it goes. Uh, I've got all the vellum products into, like if you go down and go down on the front page of the website, how we have the... Um, Um, all the categories, you know, adhesives and albums and all those things. Vellum is in that list now. I now actually have vellum there in the list. Um, and all the vellum products have been moved to that list that are in stock. So you don't see anything that's sold out in those lists. It's all in stock. Well, unless someone's five finger discounted it. Okay. Walk back into the act of what I've been making. Well, you don't make the bed. Parcels are always slow coming through sunshine. Yep, yeah, and it's meant to be a state-of-the-art thing like, like Red Bank. Queensland, we have Red Bank and Victoria has Sunshine West. There's a lot of layers on this. What do we think? Let's get a bit of gauze. Um, I do like this new gauze because it's huge. Like it's way bigger. It's like way bigger. Let's cut this short end off here. Um, no, wrong category. Went to Melbourne via Sydney and got delivered for the others. Hey, Crank, wrong category. We're talking about vellum, not printed vellum. I think the bread maker's finished. Vellum, keep going down. It's got a pink title on it and it says vellum. It just says vellum. Not valium, but vellum. And what did we do last week? Oh, we scrunched it up in our, we just rolled it in our hands in a ball. 
the neighbors are talking they probably hear me just come home from taking my toy poodle to the vet he has damage oh my knee looks like we'll be in need of surgery oh that's not good you quentin early riser enjoy my cup of tea in peace sometimes he forgets to have his morning coffee um cheryl whoopsie just wreck that So maybe we want this like a net colour, the colour of a net. What do we want at this colour? Let's just lift all this stuff. Oh no, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. How am I going to stick this together? Do I want to stick it so it's got a bit of dimension? Do. Maybe I do. Oh, geez, where's my husband now? See, this is what happens when you get paste around the edges you should always clean it off around the knurling you know the top this bit around here so you shouldn't leave paste around here because that is what glues because remember um, this is an acrylic product gel medium is an acrylic product and acrylic is plastic and glues are plastics Kind of, well, they are. So I need to turn that out. Yep, that'll need to be cleaned. So let's just sit that there for the moment. And I'm thinking when we get to this, we'll use a bit of paste underneath these bits so that we get a little bit of dimension and city upness very technical terminology there city upness where do i move the tapes to look at that perfect up in the middle of it just, just bunch it in the middle um, not good Jane yeah it's not good for you baby for the boy child rises the quietest time here he's a constant talker with which is good but tiring yes yes our talk is only seven 17 interested in seeing the use of paste in this type of project okay there we go so my dad was a farmer but he was a um concreter he did his trade as a bricklayer and billow. So I've troweled some on, you know, like we're putting mortar on. So it's going to stick. It's going to hold that gauze in, but it's not going to go flat. It's going to sit. And like I have some paste that is, no, it's not out here. So I have some paste that's called like when you get stuff and it's like heavy gel and extra heavy gel 
Well, it gives you even more dimension-y stuff. So we're just troweling it on like putting water on bricks. It will subside a little. And if you squish it down, it is going to squish out the sides before it's dry. This is going to be an interesting concept. So let's put a little on here. It does dry clear. Oh, you can see it kind of when it dries. Let's spread this along. I don't know if you can see this. I hope you can. I hope the film is. Is it focusing? Is that focusing on that? I don't know. It's all white. It's going to build up a little bit of a ridgy bit. So this is not a pick it up and play with it within five minutes. This takes time to dry. This takes a lot of time to dry. So when I do a, um, I used to do a lot of them. I don't really at the moment, they take a lot of time. I've done some really awesome um, canvases, memorial canvases. So I've done one with a um, ham radio aerial and, you know, like, you know sports team memorabilia and all sorts of bits and i use flowers and chipboard and but i do a mixed media painted background first so when i do a canvas like that i use like a regular gel or a heavy gel um in matte i don't use gloss um and that's i trowel it behind my flowers and i have a dollop of the paste behind my flowers to hold my flowers on the canvas so that then they last longer because they're held on. Um, I don't know if you all saw, I'm pretty sure Jean saw it. I know, I'm pretty sure Jean did a comment about it um, and a few others. Um, I shared a picture of a canvas from like nine years ago. It's a little faded now because the brand of sprays and that I used does fade in time, especially in the front window of a shop that gets the morning sun. <laughs> um those flowers are still stuck on that canvas um coal dust and all because you know we our shops right across the road from the coal train lines um or one set of coal lines um okay hopefully that's going to go on a bit better this time there's no new sticky stuff there we go that's better I'm going to put it back where it goes. Oh, that was just gel medium matte. And this is the same stuff, but in a tube. It's got tube, tub. I find the tube, if I'm going to trowel it, the tube I've got to squeeze it out and potentially waste it. Whereas if I'm going to use a, you know, a pallet knife as a trowel and put it on, I do that. So if you don't have that, you can use like, so this is a Montmartre modeling paste. So let's clean this up a bit. So see how it's got good body? So it's got a good um, mortar-like body. So you could use that as well. you just got to be careful like I do. Like even though the matte gel dries pretty clear, I still don't allow it to be seen. Let's put it there. It's going to be an easy reach now. My whole goal is easy reach. When we do our Zoom wasabi at 5 o'clock for um, Beautiful Family, you'll see parts of my new space. Amelia Ann made the comment, oh, it's a little bit small, isn't it? Um, I have confined myself to less space, kind of, but I can get to stuff that was sort of cordoned off a bit now. 
um, where all my extra stuff is, like my tubs of, um, that was a bit silly, wasn't it? Um, I have like, um, I'm just putting a little bit of dimensional magic and then I'm sort of wiping a lot of it away so I don't have that glossiness, but there's just enough there to hold the, that's going to move, to hold the gauze just in place so it doesn't sort of, yeah, look really bad. Oh, there we go. Okay. Work really well when using gauze and all that. Yes, it would. It would. So underneath something, you trowel your, yeah, with some gel medium. In a lot of pain. Um, he dislocated the patella in his so Oh, no. It's partially moved this time as well as the ligament damage. So two issues. Poor darling. Poor, poor darling, Jean. Um, yes, really well with focus as well. Awesome. Yeah. Oh. Hope he's okay. Oh, Jason, I hope you're okay. Feel for you. I don't know what you're going through, but Noah does, and Noah was Noah's not no Noah, Noah hasn't enjoyed being sick, and then the aftermath. Um. I have got an ask. I've got a little bit of a, an ask of you all. If possible, and, like, I, I don't want to have a whinge, but um, I'm going to say we're heading into some of the hardest part of the retail year, right? And we're kind of on the back foot. But I would... I would really like to ask, and I don't ask this, if you could all subscribe to our YouTube channel, um, like our Facebook page, check that you still liked it because occasionally Facebook will clean up Facebook pages and take people off the liker list. Um, if you're not seeing our posts in your, your our Facebook posts in your feed, that means you need to go and visit our Facebook page regularly and like things. If you could share our online store address and tell your friends about us that craft um share our youtube channel with your friends share our facebook page with your friends just really truly appreciate um you guys helping us get the word out um we yeah we're sort of at that point where we kind of need all uh sharing things out so we can sort of spread the word a bit more um as possible um zoom i look like a crap person you know what jason i think with zoom you can actually do zoom where you don't see your face like where you don't see um you can actually put up a picture instead of who does that someone does that in zooms in our zooms puts up a picture instead of you can actually not share your video. You can just be there and talk but not share your video or share a picture. I can't remember who it is. Someone has done it when they weren't well. Oh, look at that. The studio light arrived and we're, I'm here. I knew it was going to arrive. See, I like one also. Oh, Jason, we just love you. Have a sunflower as you, a bright, shiny sunflower. Actually, you know what? I think that would be your token flower, Jason, a bright, shiny sunflower. You brighten up everyone's day. Um, yeah, I think you had a bit easier, Robin, but it wasn't easy, was it? It's still, it's still not easy. It's not fun. Just turn on audio only, no video. There you go. Today's the best you felt. Oh, well, that means you're on the improved, Jason. That's just such good news, really good news. But, yeah, if you could all like and share and 
um, you know, even just play our YouTube videos in the background or share them with people or like them or um, like our Facebook posts. It just really, truly would, yeah, like help us. It does help. We just need to spread the word a little bit more about the store to, yeah, and we had a lovely lady called Karen that did a box opening video of her parcel from us and we really appreciated that. I only found out about it because someone else told me and that was really lovely. Um, so, yeah, it just, yeah, we just need a little, a little kick in the bum to get us going further. Um, so there we go. That's what we've done so far. We made a tag. You could put that on a page. And I probably need to get my butt into gear and do my fussy cutting for tomorrow night. I, I'm doing a double. Obviously, there's three pieces of white cardstock, so I'm doing a double. Um, obviously. <laughs> there's not really a plan with any of this. What am I going to do with that? Okay. Don't think about it because if I think about it now, I want to do the page now. If I start thinking about it, I will want to just sit down and create. And look, I've got tons of stuff left for my creative builder. So I could actually go to town and make... Can't go to town because, you know... Oh, I think there is a baby car seat here. I'm not putting it in mum's car. I don't think I've got keys to my mother's car. Uh, it is parked out in front of our house. Oh, it's stored here. Um, so I've got these bits left. So I could potentially get a couple of bits of pattern paper from a scrap box and I can make a scrapbook page with that or I can make a card or, you know, yeah. I've got, I've got options. But I don't know if you can see. Is that going to show See, the video in front of me on Facebook is very behind. Can you see the pace under there? You can kind of see it. You kind of can't. Um, drive down here. This is so randomly shot because... Uh, yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it does give a great dimension. It's it's interesting and it's, you know. But it, it so you can see my turtle's got a bit of a whoop in him because I pushed him down a bit far here, but then he's up here and he's, you know, it gives you a good, you know, it's not straight flat foam. Like it's not a straight out foam. It's a, it's a, it's a very fluid dimension that you get from it. And you do have some room to play like I can just move him around a bit and I can lift him up a bit and you know you have room you have some time you have a little bit of time not a massive amount of time but you have a little bit of time there we go awesome thank you Beryl it does too does that's it, it is great the dimension it creates so there we go. So let me know what you think of the Creative Builders. Um, they are in the online store. Oh, D, there is a casino. There is a roulette wheel pitch cut actually already in the online store. I forgot to tell you. Um, but it is it is a roulette wheel. But it, it was hard to do a pitch cut of a roulette wheel. But there is now a vellum fussy cut sheet of for Casino Night. I did like a mini collection. I did the roulette wheel and I've done a vellum fussy cut sheet. Um, it's just a bit of a mini collection called Casino Night. And there, um, the vellum fussy cut sheet's got like people and roulette wheels and different things for um, a casino -y type party um, or Casino Night event or if you go to a casino. Um, the purple flare that goes with, the last week this month says so 14 15 week 17 so this little guy is up in the online store 
Um, and as soon as the boys finish packaging the flare button set for next week, they will actually go live when they add the quantity that they've got. They'll go live in the online store later this morning. Um, we will do a box opening this afternoon. The boys are going to bring home that studio light and we'll do a box opening this afternoon. I have a pretty good idea what's in the box. It's just I have two. I have one massive big order. All my April pre-orders are all. So in December, I actually ordered product right up until the end of April from Studio Light. I do have to do a couple of top-up orders. Um, but what they do is, and I've done some top up orders already so far this year, but what they do is they, um, they do get it to a level that gets us, um, through the freight system quickly and also gets us through customs in a day. So we just want to be able to breeze through into the country and get it through without breaking any rules, but we want to have a decent amount and get the best bang for our freight buck. And that's what we're trying to do is just get the best amount through on the freight uh thank you deborah thank you d it's great love the 3d super class have a great day everyone yes you too so thank you all very much um take care stay safe i see some of you have already di disappeared um and we'll see you if you're doing the beautiful family virtual retreat we have a zoom at 5 p.m this afternoon we're going to be doing a box opening on our Facebook page and YouTube this afternoon of the studio light that just arrived. And then what we'll do is um, tonight, later tonight, I might do a, um, I might do a reveal of the beautiful family pattern papers because um, some people want to order the pack the paper pack is up for pre-order or up for order um i've just seen a piece of lego just sitting here um so we might do the reveal of that because i was meant to do that last weekend any hints on what else is coming so the new art by marlene paints i think are in it and where's my diary no i don't know where my diary is i think it's in my ipad bag um there's paintbrushes, there's stencils. So in the two orders, there's paints, paintbrushes, stencils, cutting dies. There's a heap of stuff. Lots of mixed media. So thank you very much all for coming along. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Um, I can't wait to see what you do with your creative builder in your kit. And let me know which, maybe you should let me know which collection you want to see the Creative Builder come out in next. Because I will do one for each collection, but I won't do them overnight. <laughs> so take care, stay safe. Thank you. Bye.